Hi, my name is Lauren Bartley from Impactivate, and this is a special bonus video I've done within the FB Business Success Now online training program as part of the Facebook Ads The Essentials module that's going to step you through how to create the new Facebook pixel and then install it on your website. By doing this, you'll be able to create website custom audiences that you can then use to target your Facebook advertising to. So let's get started on creating a Facebook pixel that you can insert on your website. So the first thing we need to do is go to the Facebook advertising platform. And so we can get there by going to facebook.com forward slash ads forward slash manage. And once you're there, what I want you to do is go to the tool section and under tools, we're going to click on pixels and it should take you to a screen that looks like this. If you haven't created the new Facebook pixel as yet, if you've already created the pixel, it's going to look a little bit different. And I'll show you that at the end, once I've created the pixel. Now you might see here, we've got the Facebook pixel and the conversion tracking pixel old. So this is the old pixel. So if you've created a pixel in the past under the old system, if you click on this tab here, it will show you the tracking pixel, but we haven't for this account. So there's nothing there. If you haven't created an old tracking pixel, then just don't bother. So at this point, what we're going to do is we're going to create this pixel. So then we can use it to go on to create custom audiences. And then that's going to allow you to track the actions that people are taking on your website and be able to create ads that run back into those custom audiences that you've developed. So let's give this a go. First thing we want to do is click on this big green button here that says create a pixel. As it says here in the prompt, there's only one pixel per advert account. So choose a name that represents your business. So here I'm going to call this Jim self storage because that's the name of the business. Agree to the Facebook pixel terms. So you can click on them for more details and then create the pixel. Now it's as simple as that. The pixel is now ready. And so what we need to do here is we need to install it on our website. And there's two things we can do. If you are confident that you can do it yourself, if you're going to be using one of the plugins and that kind of thing, then you can click on this option to get the code. Or the other option that you have available to you is to click this one that says email pixel code. And here you have the ability to just type into this, your web developers email address and send it to them. You can also add a bit of a personal message here if you want to put a little bit more detail and context around why you're sending it to them. Now, one of the things to note if you are sending this off to your developer is that it's not only giving the instructions to install the pixel code here, but it's also giving further instructions down here as to how they can set standard events for conversion tracking. So if you don't want to create the standard events for conversion tracking, or perhaps you're just not ready, you want to get your head around this a bit more before you send this off to your developer, because it'll actually cost you a bit to get that part of it done. The pixel code itself is a really quick fix, but depending upon how your website's set up and which of the standard events you're going to want to include, that could be quite a big job for a developer. So I just wanted to keep that in mind if you are going to send this off. There is another option you can do, which is to just get the code from the previous option. So go into the option that said install the pixel and then actually manually go and send an email to your developer as well. And you may prefer to do that anyway, because then you can track it in your inbox. But if you do, there are some useful instructions here in terms of the pixel helper and the help center. So you might actually want to copy some of this information across and do it manually within your own email client. So I'm not actually sending this off to a developer at the moment. So I'm not going to hit send for this. I'm just going to close this and I'll close this little pop up as well. And then as you can see, this is where the pixel information will be once it's actually been activated. But you can see over here, there's no activity as yet. And that's because I haven't installed it. So to go and find the pixel now, because obviously I didn't copy that information there and I need to send this off to a web developer or use it myself. Or if you've installed this a while back and let's say you now want to go and put it on a new lead page that you've created or something like that. The place you're going to go to find the pixel again, if you came into tools, you click on pixel. And then what we do is we go over to actions. 
You'll see that you've got the options to edit the pixel, which if I click on that one, it's just going to allow me to go in and change the name of the pixel. There's not much else you can actually edit here. I can also go in and view the pixel code or I can email the pixel code, which are the options it gave me when I was setting them up. And then I can also share the pixel code. But if you want to share the pixel code, then if you click on here, you'll see that you actually need to use the business manager to share your pixel code with other advert accounts. So you actually need to go and create the business manager account if you want to do that. Now, I probably wouldn't encourage you to do that at this stage. I don't have business manager account. Um, a lot of my clients do and a lot of other people in the industry do. And it's a newish kind of tool and it's creating a lot of headaches for people. So if you don't have to at this stage, I probably wouldn't. And I'd wait until that tool got a little bit further developed. So if we go back into the actions now, I can go and select that option to view the pixel code. And here it is where I've got the pixel code itself that I can now go and copy and place on the website between those head tags. And then also I've got all the details here in terms of the conversion tracking and what we can put in for that. As I mentioned previously, I'm not going into the details of conversion tracking in this module. I'm going to leave that for the advanced techniques. So for now, I'm just going to go in and I'm going to copy this code because I'm going to go and put this live on the website. Now I'm logged into the back of this website. We're going to need to go and install a plugin. So I'm going to go in here and click plugins and I'm just going to say add new. And whilst I presented to you a few different options you've got for this particular plugin, the one I'm going to use now because it has some additional functionality which we can use when we get to the point of um, doing those standard events is the Pixel Your Site one. So I've just typed that in here and search for the Pixel Your Site. So you'll see it's popped up over here. This is the one I was referring to. Just going to click on that. You can see some more details by doing that. And so if you want to go through and just have a look at all this different information it provides, you can do that. Then you can click on install now. Another way that you can install it is just directly from here. You can click on the install now button, which I'm doing. It'll install quite quickly and then you can just go and activate that plugin. Now that it's activated, you'll see it's actually come up down here It was pixel your site. Sometimes depending on the plugin, it might end up down here. It might end up within your settings or it could end up within some of the other options you've got available for you, depending upon which plugin you've chosen and whether or not it integrates with something else that you've already got installed. So you might have to have a little dig around depending on your plugin to find it. In this particular one, all it asks me to do is to put in your pixel ID and you'll be able to find your pixel ID by going to tools, pixel, and then over here on the right hand column, you'll see pixel ID and then there'll be a series of numbers. Now it might be a slightly different position in the right hand column if your pixel's already active, but it'll be in this right hand column nonetheless. Head back across here. I can put that pixel ID, click on activate plugin general settings, and then I can save those settings. Now, one of the reasons I chose this plugin is because we've got this on post page events, which we can use for creating standard or custom events. And then we've also got these dynamic events. This is a pro version of the plugin. You will have to pay for this, but I'll talk more about the dynamic events in future. It also allows you to do some stuff with WooCommerce and also PayPal. So this is one way that we can install the plugin. I'm actually going to show you another way and I don't recommend that you do this twice, but I just want to show you the different ways that you can do it. So the next thing I need to do now to check that this is actually working is to go to the website. So I'm going to the website and I'm actually logged into Facebook at the same time as I'm doing this. And now what's going to happen is this is going to trigger a message back to Facebook to say, hey, Facebook, someone has visited this website. I'll go back and check within the adverts manager platform in a moment to see that it's actually triggered. But remember also, I installed this plugin that tells me what's happening, Facebook Pixel Helper, and it says one pixel found. So we know that what I've done is has worked. It is set up because of this pixel tracker. 
But interesting, you'll see that it says that the Facebook pixel took too long to load. And as a result of that, some actions might not be tracked. So you've got the option there to click through to learn more. But if I found this on my website, I'd probably be going back to my developer and saying, why is it taking too long to load? And it could be to do with some of the flash that's on this particular website. But just to double check that as well, I'm just going to go back into here, go back to tools. And remember, we have pixels, which I was already here. And then I'm going to just refresh this page. You can see at present that it has no activity. I'm going to refresh this page and suddenly it's active within the last hour. Now it's not showing me how much traffic because probably because there just hasn't been enough for it to actually trigger as yet. I don't know what the exact number is that it needs for these stats to be accurate, but at least now we can see that this pixel is installed and it is working. So the other way that you could install this on your website is to use another plugin. So I'm going to go to add a new plugin and the other plugin I talked about was the header and footer plugin. So let's go in and choose that one. Now you might choose to install this header and footer plugin if let's say for example you also want to install your Google Analytics code then this might be something that you wish to use and you could use the header and footer let's say to put your google analytics code in and you might use the pixel your site one to put the facebook pixel in because of the fact that it allows you to do those standard events as well so for now we're just going to install this so i can show you how this works downloading and now we're going to go and activate that plugin so now this plugin is installed and you can see that it says the header and foot in plugins might cause issues when used in conjunction with, with Yoast SEO. So always have a look at what's going to happen because you don't want to install a whole heap of plugins that are going to bring down your website or conflict with other things and that kind of thing. So just for now, I'm going to go into the settings here now and you'll see this is where the header and footer is. So here we are within the header and footer. And you'll see you've got some options here. We can add the code to the head section of every page, add the head section of just the home page before the end of the page and in the body tags. Now, different codes for different things will ask you to put it in different places. That's why they're providing you with this. But for the Facebook pixel, we want to include it here. So here I would just go back here again, go and view my pixel code, copy that code, go back to this page again and paste this code in and then save it. Now I'm actually not going to do that at this point because I've already got the code in once and I don't want it in twice. And so I'm actually going to go back to our plugins here, installed plugins, and I'm actually going to remove this. So I just did that for your benefit to show you the different ways that you can install different plugins. Now, should you need to delete one of these plugins because it's not working for you for whatever reason, then it's just a case of going down here. We're going to deactivate that plugin. Once we've deactivated that plugin, then I can go and delete that plugin from the system here. Yes, delete these files as well. So that's it. The Facebook pixel is now set up on this website and it's going to be starting to track traffic to this website and all of the pages within it from this point forward. And it's at this point now that you would go in and start to create those audiences using this pixel. And you can find out more about how to create those targeted audiences, as well as how to create ads that convert within the advertising modules that I have within the FB Business Success Now online training program. So if you'd like to take what you've learned in this training video to the next level, then go to impactivate.com.au forward slash FBBS to find out more about that program.